peep. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Coffee Combo Wednesday. Why am I singing? I don't know. It's Coffee Combo Wednesday for Wednesday, March 24th, 2021, episode 253. Thank you for being here on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I appreciate it. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Cindy Simmons. I am the host of Coffee Combo Wednesday each and every week. This is a show where we're gonna talk about three things and at the end, I'm gonna give you something which I think is super cute and fun. As we do every week, it's just fun. It's fun to give away fun stuff, fun free stuff. Why? Because presents are awesome. <laughs> we'll be here for about 15 or 20 minutes if you would. If you're watching on Instagram, I'd love for you to click the save button. It's right at the top there. You just click the little tick tick and save this post, like it, all of the things. Facebook, same thing. If you would click like and share this with the world or on YouTube, um, click subscribe and like and comment. I am all about interaction. So the more you comment and interact, the more fun we're gonna have today. So thank you for being here. I'm gonna give you a cheers. Let me know, peep, peep what you're drinking today. I figured that Easter is less than two weeks, so I thought I would go ahead and start rocking Easter mugs. <laughs> Why not, right? All right, a little bit about me. Like I said, my name is Cindy. I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. Born and raised about 30 minutes away from Disneyland with stops in Nashville, Atlanta, and now we live in Orlando. Florida. We live about a little less than 30 minutes away from Walt Disney World. We're a family of five. It's me, my awesome husband, Eric, who owns a promotional products company called My Smart Shirt. I always want to give him as much wifey love as I can. So anything you need a logo on, he is your guy. You can find him at MySmartShirt.com. We have two daughters, eight and 15. The teenager, as I like to uh, call her, who is 15. And then also my mama Jane, who is a four time cancer surviving rock star. So she lives with us as well, which is kind of cool, honestly. Uh, my background is radio. I have worked in radio almost my entire life until I left about a year ago. I've been doing this show for over five years now. I love it. It is just a way to spread joy and kindness like Nutella because that's kind of what we do here. It's my thing. And I am also the brand manager for this super cute women's boutique here in Winter Garden, Florida. There's also a location in Bloomington, Illinois called Shushu Baby Boutique, which is what I am wearing today with my, my C necklace. Um, so I'm always, everything I'm wearing, um, you can buy at the store. Uh, you could just message me for questions or direct message at Shushu Baby Boutique on Facebook or Instagram. So like I said, we're gonna be here for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. We got three things to talk about, but the first thing I wanna do, besides giving you another cheers, is saying congratulations to Kristen S. from Louisiana. I don't know why I thought I could just try and do some sort of Louisiana accent there. <laughs> from Louisiana. Kristen S. from Louisiana. She won last week's Coleman Natural Bundle from Purdue Farm. So congratulations. You will get that shipped very soon. And thank you for watching. Um, I was also thinking that someone mentioned to me when I said, I think it's Sarah Cooley is her name. <laughs> she mentioned to me when I say, um, I was born and raised in Los Angeles that she always sings the Fresh Prince song, which I have a joke for you. I wasn't sure I was going to share this joke because it's so corny, but why not just throw caution to the wind and show or share this really silly joke that I saw this dad share on TikTok and it made me laugh so hard. I don't know why, but I, I'm on Instagram stories all the time. So if you want to just see silliness, you should make sure you're following me. I am Cindy Simmons on Instagram because I was on stories yesterday on a bike ride going to pick up the eight-year-old from school. And I was thinking, I need to share this joke. And it made me laugh so hard. All right, you ready? I have to put my coffee mug down so I can get full on serious. Okay, I'm terrible at telling jokes, so bear with me because I want to say it the correct way so that you get the full on punchline because it's so corny and it's so bad, but I like live for this joke. Now it's going to be my go-to joke. All right, are ready? How do you find Will Smith in the snow? 
How do you find Will Smith in the snow? You ready? You just look for the fresh prince. <laughs> Why is that so? <laughs> Am I the only one who thinks that's really funny? You look for the fresh prince, P-R-I-N-T-S, you know, fresh prince. Now this is a story. <laughs> I follow this dad on TikTok and he <laughs> he tells the funniest dad jokes and I love him and his wife and their kids get involved and I think his name is Fit Dad, Fit Dad Company, I don't know, something like that, but I've been following him forever and he just started following me and I was all excited like, <laughs> you're so fun and you're following me, yay, because you know my other thing besides Insta stories, we're always on TikTok all the time, so there, that's my gift to you is your Fresh Prince, Prince, I know it sounds the same when I'm saying it, but my little joke for you so you can take that joke and run with it because I just think it's so silly and funny and we need a bunch of silly and funny in the world, so why not? All right, so I wanted to talk to you about something that I know many people have gone through this last year. I'm sure you have heard of Sorry, I'm still like in my brain, fresh princing. Okay, so I am sure you have heard about the pandemic pounds. And it's, we're basically, we've all been stuck in quarantine and everyone's overeating and whatever. Like a minimum of 15 pounds. It's called the freshman 15. But when, I guess it's like, it could be anywhere from 15 pounds or more is this pandemic pounds. But what I love is my sweet husband, Eric, came up with a better term and he's calling it COVID curves. Hey, we've all just gained some COVID curves and I kind of like that. COVID curves sounds way better than pandemic pounds. But I saw this article, <laughs> I saw this article the other day that Ralph Lauren is, that's Ralph Lauren, is coming out with wide leg jeans. Do you remember wide leg jeans? I think it was like the 90s or even this picture is actually from 2005. I know I used to love to wear boot cut jeans. I thought they were so slimming, like a little form fitting here and then you had like that little boot cut flare or whatever. Anyway, so they're like re bringing, bringing back, whatever you wanna call it, the wide leg, look at these the wide leg jeans. I think the suggestion is because we've all been in quarantine putting on the COVID curves and that, you know, with a baggier jean, it's not so noticeable, which is so funny to me because there's this thing going around on TikTok. It's like this funny knock on moms, I guess, or women in general who are doing the side part and the skinny jeans. Like, You've got to stop that. No more side parts, no more skinny jeans. Look, I'm wearing skinny jeans today and that's what I'm wearing. I also wear baggy jeans sometimes too. But as much as I do love my skinny jeans, I would be all about a 90s boot cut coming back. So what do you think? Would you rock the wide leg jeans again? I did all of this research for you. <laughs> I did all of this research and it looks like that the boot cut and that you know boot flare, whatever it's called, those jeans are trying to like, knock, knock, knock 2021, we're trying to get back into your year. So I wanna know, would you be into this? Would you be in to the boot cut, that wider leg, wider pant jeans, or are you like, no, I'm good. I'm good on my skinny jean. All I know is which whatever they are at the bottom, at the top, like I want a little bit of a high rise, you know, like I don't need to be bending over and everyone needs to see what's going on behind there. So whatever this higher rise mom jean thing is, whatever you want to call it, I am, I'm good. I'm good. I want that to stay, but I am, I am open to the boot cut jean making a comeback. And you know what I didn't do? Throw away my boot cut jeans. I did not. I did not because I loved them so much that I'm like, you know what? They'll come back. They'll come back, they will, they'll come back. <laughs> so I need to know, are you open to the boot cut and making a comeback? 
And then something else I wanted to talk to you about, I told you here on Coffee Cabo Wednesday, it is all about important, hard hitting news. <laughs> because no it's not i'm just kidding because it's coffee cup wednesday and wherever you're whenever you're watching this wherever you're watching this wednesday thursday friday saturday so whatever you just need like 15 minutes of a break that's why we do this show right so i today posted now i'm gonna totally mess up the quote but i posted like a little quote thing on the shushu baby boutique instagram and facebook page and it says See, I told you how to mess it up. Why is like my brain, do, it just doesn't work anymore. Something to the effect of, in a world of lemon starburst, be a pink starburst, something like that. Or in a world of lemon starburst, or no, in a world of yellow starburst, be a pink starburst, like something like that. And I thought, you know, when did that happen? When did the yellow starburst become the least liked flavor of starburst? I have always loved lemon. In fact, lemon and orange have always been my favorite starburst. And I thought, why does the lemon get such a bad rap? So I wanted to ask you, and like, kind of like an informal poll here, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, what is your favorite starburst candy? You can either tell me the color, like it, maybe the color is easier. Is it the yellow? Is it the pink? Is it the red? Orange? That's it, right? It's just those. Because I love the lemon yellow starburst. Like I love them. I actually love them all, but if given the choice, I'll take the lemon because I do like lemon. I love lemon everything. I love yellow. Yellow's one of my favorite colors. And plus, look how fun the yellow looks with this cute new shirt. I love lemon. I love lemon flavor, lemon meringue pie, lemon bars, all of the above starburst. So comment below. Let me know what your favorite flavor slash color is. Red, cherry, pink. The strawberry, right? Lemon, yellow, orange, orange. Hmm. I told you it was not important stuff today. Not important stuff on Coffee Cup of Wednesday because we need a break. We don't have time for all of the, you know, in our brain. So again, important stuff. All right, finally, I am bringing a new feature to Coffee Cup of Wednesday and I'm super psyched about it. So. If you remember at the beginning of the year, I was asking, okay, what are some like things you wanna see on the show? And I asked you if you would like me to go like on location somewhere. So I thought it would be really fun to do like some on the road coffee combo Wednesdays. And like, I think I'm gonna to go to my husband's office at my marcher because I thought that would be super fun. Like I didn't know what a promotional products company like looked like behind the scenes, but they have like a whole warehouse thing there. I thought that would be fun. I thought it would be fun to go on the road to Shushu Baby Boutique and you know, kind of take you around, sit maybe a little bit and then show you some clothes and whatever. I thought that would be fun. And of course, Disney. I, now I have been on location before at Walt Disney World. We've done Magic Kingdom, I think twice. Someone said tour of my house. I actually have a really bad shaky version because I totally did it in like, I don't know, just wasn't planning it on my YouTube page. If you go to my YouTube channel, Cindy Simmons, you can just go to cindysimmons.com and you can link over to YouTube there, unless you're watching on YouTube right now. But if you scroll my page, um, sort by like videos or whatever, um, there is a tour of my house on there that for some reason got like a lot of views. I think it's like my highest viewed video, which is so weird because like, I don't know, not my videos just don't do well on YouTube for some reason. So I have done a tour of my house. But if you think of other places that you're like, hey, I would love to see you do Coffee Combo Wednesday on the road from there, let me know. I thought this would be fun. I need to like get out, just, you know, kind of, because I know so many of us are still we're like stuck in the house, we're afraid to go places. And I'm talking more like, I'll try, you know, Shushu Baby would be inside and then my smart sure that would be inside. But you know, there might be places that I can go outside, all of that. But, so we talked about that. But I also thought it would be really fun to do Coffee Cava Wednesday fun finds. Now, obviously you know that I am the brand manager for Shushu Baby Boutique. So anything you see me wear, you know, clothing wise, is going to be from Shushu Baby Boutique. That has been the case for over a year now that I have been partnered with them. And so any clothing wise that you see I'm wearing, 
that's where I get it. I always put the link in the comments and you can buy anything you see um, posted here or anything you see me post on Shoo Shoo Baby Boutique social media, Facebook or Instagram. In addition to that though, I thought it would be super fun that when I find something that I think is just super fun, I don't know why I said super fun, super fun, super fun, that I would share it with you. And it might be like, I don't know, a hair product or I don't know, whatever. I am not an expert in any field except for talking <laughs> because that's what I've done my whole life on the radio. But I know that there are things that I like and I know that I always buy things because of word of mouth. It's just what I do. Like the mascara I have on right now, I saw someone on TikTok using it and I wanted to try it. It's Maybelline Sky High, I think it's called. It's fine. I don't think it's like the greatest mascara ever. But this would be for now a non-sponsored thing. This is not, oh, I'm an ambassador, or, oh, they're giving me money, you know, to support my family kind of thing. This is just gonna be fun finds that I have found that I like. So that's my big setup to tell you that right now we're gonna do the first Coffee Combo Wednesday hashtag fun finds because <laughs> I have shoes to show you and I want to set this up. I love Target and Walmart. Those are kind of like my go-to places as I think all of us love Target and Walmart. And some people like Target more than Walmart. Some people like Walmart more than Target, whatever. I don't care, I'm an equal opportunist when it comes to both of those stores because I love them both. But I gotta give major props to Walmart because I don't know if it's like they, you know, Target was like knocking on that door or something or they're knocking on Target's door, but Walmart has stepped up their game, especially when it comes to shoes. So my teenage daughter a couple of years ago for Christmas got a pair of, they're called Air Force Ones, if you have any sort of teenage girl in your life, a niece, a cousin, a daughter, whatever, they are all in to their, their kicks, their tennis shoes. I don't know if they call them kicks. I'm so uncool. Like I'm so uncool when I say stuff like that, I realize how uncool I sound. <laughs> They're into their kicks. So my daughter got a pair of white Air Force Ones. My husband <laughs> thinks that they look like orthopedic shoes, like, that's what you would wear. I think they're fine. She loves them. Eh, you know, you got to keep them white. You can't have the crease in the front. I don't know, from like bending, I guess. Walmart is selling dupes for trendy shoes. That's also another word I used or I learned on TikTok. Apparently, that's like a trendy word. Like, oh, this is the dupe for Air Force One or that's a dupe for Louis Vuitton. I don't know. Again, I refer back to my previous statement. I'm not cool. So, they have all of these dupes shoes at Walmart, I guess is how you would say it. So I wanted to show you, there are two pair that I have bought just over the last couple of months that I have to tell you about because I think they're so cute. So I went and I saw that they have Air Force One dupes, Nike Air Force One dupes. Do they have the swoosh on the side, the swoosh? No swoosh, because they're dupes, they're not Nike. Nike Air Force One, and shoes cost like a hundred and something dollars, right? These, $14.99. So I got these and I gotta tell you, I should have brought down, <laughs> I should have brought down the Air Force One shoes that my daughter has, except that they're very dirty and she can't stand that they're dirty. So she probably would have said no. However, I think they're so cute. It's like a little bit of a platform. I do have a little bit of dirt on mine, sorry. There's like a little bit of a platform. They're uber comfortable. And I love them. So I've been rocking them with like a dress, like a, you know, a knee length dress or a calf length dress, whatever dress. Jeans, I have been rocking them with shorts. Also, I get tons of joggers from Shushu Baby Boutique. They're so cute with a pair of joggers. You know, like pants that roll up like, oh, look at me, I'm doing that trendy athleisure wear kind of thing. I love them. More importantly, $14.99, boo. Not only do they have the Air Force One dupes, they have dupes for Vans because Vans are like back. I know when I was my daughter's age, all the rage were Vans. I never had a pair because we couldn't afford them. But she has a pair of Vans, um, that, you know, they have the checkered Vans and I don't know, white Vans, black Vans. So she has a pair of black Vans too. 
Well, at Walmart, they have the van stoops and they're black. I mean, they look like black vans, except maybe they don't have the black vans little logo on the back. So they have those. Then they have a dupe for, I think it's the Adidas, you know, Adidas with like the stripes on the side. I love my Adidas. I have had my Adidas for years and I wear them all the time, but they have like an all white, it's either a Converse or Adidas tennis shoe. That is a total dupe. Again, I think that one's $14.99 too. So this was also the one I just got. If I'm being honest, I was kind of like in a funk the last couple of days. And I don't normally shop when I'm funkified because I just don't spend the money, if I'm being honest. But I saw these on Instagram. Someone posted at Walmart like, oh, look at these cute, trendy joggers. I guess you can have joggers that are pants or joggers that are tennis shoes retro joggers so darn i meant to bring them down like 20 years ago i went to new york and i bought a pink pair of kangaroos do you remember kangaroos that were in style a million years ago they had the zipper on the side of the shoe all right well i bought a pair of those and i never got rid of them and i've kept them for years and i guess they're called like retro jogger shoes yeah so walmart has them except they have three different colors and I wanted them in black. You know how much these are? $14.99. $14.99 for how cute are these retro joggers they're called. So cute with jeans, with some shorts, a dress, a long skirt, like whatever. They're so, let me look at the tag on them. Um, aren't they cute? Like retro joggers, $14.99. So that's my Coffee Combo Wednesday fun find for you. So I thought we would do that. I don't know, maybe when I find them, maybe it's just once a month, maybe it's every couple of weeks. I don't know. I just think whatever I find, like a hashtag fun finds is we're going to call it. I'm just going to bring it here. Maybe it's something like you guys have just found this like lipstick. You need to buy it, uh, whatever. Or if you see something and you're like, I think this is a fun find, send it to me, whatever. I just thought it would be such a fun thing to do because I know when I see someone on Instagram or TikTok post something that I like, I give it a little like, and then I'm like, yeah, yeah, oh, I'm gonna go get that. I'm gonna go get that because you said that. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So I thought I'll share with you like a fun find that I find, and if you like it, great. If not, that's okay too. Like I don't, there's no commission, there's nothing. <laughs> I just like those dupe tennis shoes because I'd rather pay $14.99 for my shoes than $114.99 for my shoes. Can I get an amen? Okay, so that's it for Coffee Combo Wednesday. That's Coffee Combo Wednesday fun finds and that is it for our show. But before we get out of here, I told you a couple of weeks that Blizzard Beach, Disney's Blizzard Beach, I do love a big Disney. I'm gonna put it in the bag because it's more fun to do the review. I do love a big Disney shopping bag, okay? So Blizzard Beach just reopened at Walt Disney World and I got the cutest towel for you. It's so adorable. I feel like I may have to stand to show you. Okay, hang on, let me get it the right way. Okay, ready? Hold on, oh, no, not ready. It's upside down. It is, it's a beach towel, look. So it's Mickey, Minnie, sorry, it's one of those big beach towels. And then look at how cute. It says Disney's Blizzard Beach. It's Minnie, like I said, Disney's Blizzard Beach, Minnie. And then on the other side is Mickey. And this thing is massive. Pretty sure you can only get it at Disney's Blizzard Beach. You cannot get it, pretty sure. Can't get it on shopdisney.com, which means you're cool if you have one of these and you will if you win. So I'm gonna fold up your beach towel right here. I do love a good beach towel. And as I have once in a while said, I thought I might keep it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I never think I'm gonna keep it. I always wanna give it to you. Like it gets me, it's me super excited. So if you would like this beach towel, your Mickey's face. If you would like this Disney's Blizzard Beach beach towel, this is how we're gonna do it, as we usually do every week. 
comment hashtag Blizzard Beach and the name of the state where you're watching Coffee Convo Wednesday. So simple, right? <laughs> hashtag Blizzard Beach and the name of the state where you're watching Coffee Convo Wednesday. And again, you have three opportunities to win. If you are watching on Facebook, head over to Instagram and YouTube and comment there. Same thing if you're on Instagram, head over to Facebook and YouTube. If you're on YouTube, head over to Instagram and Facebook. A reminder though, if you're on Instagram and your name is Cindy Simmons, but on Facebook, it's Minnie Mouse, and on YouTube, it's Cinderella, I need to know what your real name is so I can make sure that I'm catch up. Like, I am Cindy Simmons. That's actually my name. Well, my name is Cindy Simmons, but my handle on everything, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, I am Cindy Simmons. That's how you find me, TikTok, Twitter, all the things. So I have the same name. But if you don't, that's okay. Just let me know if you're on YouTube. Oh yeah, my uh, my YouTube name says Minnie Mouse, but I'm actually Cindy Simmons, so okay. Let me know. Same thing with Instagram and Facebook. You get three entries, and then we will announce the winner on next week's show and also in the comments below this one. Just like I will put the link to order anything you would like from Shushu Baby Boutique. I'll put the link here to get over to their social media on Facebook and Instagram. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. Isn't that the cutest towel? Good luck. Thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate it. You can follow me on all of the socials by going to cindysimmons.com. Next week on the show, I can't wait to show you what I'm giving away. Do you remember a few months ago, we had this great company. They're out of Atlanta, Georgia called Mad Tree Woodcrafts and they made the cutest personalized wood signs. Well, they also do these beautiful boxes. Mine is coming today and I'm going to bring it on the show for next week because we're going to give away something awesome from Mad Tree Woodcrafts on next week's show. They're such a good family owned business. They used to be our neighbors in CRB, so it makes it even more special. CRB is where we lived right outside of Atlanta when we moved three and a half years ago now. So that will be next week on the show. So until then, follow me on all the socials, watch my Insta stories, go to TikTok, do all the things. Thank you for your support. That is why every week I love giving you something at the end of the show to just basically say thank you for coming here each and every week and supporting things when I ask you to go like Shushu Baby on Facebook or follow them on Instagram. All of that helps my family, so I wanna give back to you and give you something that hopefully makes you smile. So thank you for being here. Continue to spread joy and kindness like Nutella, everyone. We need more joy and kindness, so spread joy and kindness like Nutella. I will see you next week and love you. Bye.